Ahead of birth registration commemorative lunch, First Lady Olure Mitirobu meets National Population That's Commission good. and UNICEF. The full force drive of our birth uh, registration to give our children, Nigerian children, uh, first foundational duty. Nigeria today, we shall discuss protecting power installations. All right, vandalism of power installations in Nigeria has become a significant challenge confronting the country's power sector. With regular reports of attacks on transmission lines, substations, and generating stations. Uh, very true, Victor. And one question that keeps coming to mind is why people vandalize power installations, leading to power outages, equipment damage, and of course, economic losses. Well, it beats me hollow. Uh, the northern parts of the country have been worst hit, with hotspots in other regions like the Niger Delta. Suspects include criminals, militant groups, and disgruntled elements. Now, there have been efforts to address vandalism, including surveillance, patrols, and uh, collaboration between security agencies and uh, power companies. Local communities have been engaged to prevent vandalism and uh, report suspicious activities. Well, government initiatives like the Power Sector Recovery Program are some of the attempts to address vandalism and improve power infrastructure. Nigeria also collaborates with international partners to share best practices in infrastructure protection. Now, addressing vandalism of power installations requires a multi-faceted approach involving security, uh, community engagement, and of course, uh, economic uh, development strategies. And from the frequent attacks on transmission lines to the sabotage of generating state Nigeria's power infrastructure is under siege. As the country struggles to meet its energy demands, the protection of power installations has become a matter of national security. So uh, what are the causes of these attacks, you mm -hmm. want to ask? And how can government, security agencies and private operators work together to safeguard these critical assets? Well, join us as we shine the light on this important issue and explore ways to secure Nigeria's power future. Welcome to the program. I am Victor Azu. And I'm Henry John. I join Victor to welcome you to the program. This uh, program is reaching you live on the network service of the NTA, Africa's largest television network. In the course of the program, we shall have uh, the News for Review, when Chukudi Okoli Baja will join us. But for now, let's uh, join Chukuka Ona for the morning news. Good morning, Olga. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you, Ian Ray and Victor. Very good morning to you and to you, Nigerians. Thank you for joining us. Nigeria's gross domestic product GDP grew by 3.19% year on year in real terms in the second quarter of 2024. Figures released Monday morning by the National Bureau of Statistics indicate that the GDP growth has higher was higher than the 2.98% recorded in the first quarter of 2024 and higher than the 2.51% of the second quarter of 2023. The performance of the GDP in the second quarter of 2024 was driven by the services sector, which recorded a growth of 3.79%, agricultural sector grew by 1.41%, and the industry sector grew by 3.53%, an improvement from minus 1.94% recorded in the second quarter of 2023. In the quarter under review, aggregate GDP at basic price to that 60,930,058 cobo in nominal terms. This performance is higher when compared to the second quarter of 2023, which recorded aggregate GDP of 52,103,927 cobo, indicating a year-on-year -year nominal growth of 16 percent 
And in the meantime, President Bola Tinubu has welcomed the latest report by the National Bureau of Statistics on the state of the economy as the country's gross domestic uh, gross national products posted another growth. According to NBS, the real growth uh, grew by 3.2% year on year in quarter two, higher than the 2.5% recorded in the same period of 2023. A statement by the Presidential Advisor on Information and National Strategy, Bayo Onanuga, indicates that after another report on declining food and headline inflation, this latest report affirms that the economy is on the right trajectory and is indeed on the path of recovery. The administration reiterates that this government will continue to work assiduously to rekindle Nigerians' hope and confidence, assuring that President Tinubu is working to build a solid and resilient economy. The advisor added that President Tinubu urged, urges Nigerians to retain their faith in the government and not allow themselves to be swayed by naysayers intent in aborting and undermine the current, the current reforms for their selfish ends. Now, a partnership between Renewed Hope Initiative and National Population Action and United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, is on the way to further ramp up birth registration in the country with a commemorative launch of 2024 Civil Registration and Vital Statistics Day. NPC Chairman Nasir Issa Kwara who disclosed this after leading development partners to the office of Nigeria's First Lady Oluremi Tinubu says the commemorative event scheduled for August 29, 2024 will mark a major leap in the government's efforts to offer Nigerian children their first foundational identity. This drive. Um, we had a chat with her and uh, it was a very, very uh, fruitful discussion. The Office of the First Lady through the Renewed Hope Initiative is uh, a platform that we are now using to make sure to accelerate birth registration in all parts of the Federation. President Balatinibu has approved the appointment of new Directors General of the National Intelligence Agency and the Department of State Services, DSS. Ambassador Mohamed Mohamed is the new Director General of the NIA, while Adiola Oluwato Sinajai is the new Director of the DSS. Ambassador Mohamed has had an illustrious career in the Foreign Service since joining the NIA in 1995. He has served in various roles, culminating in his promotion to the rank of Director and his subsequent appointment as the head of the Nigerian mission to Libya. The 90, uh, 1990 graduate of the Bayero University, Kano, had served in North Korea, Pakistan, Sudan, and at the State House, Abuja. The new DSS Director General, Adiola Ajayi, rose through the ranks to attain his current post of Assistant Director General of the service. He had, at various times, served as State Director in Bauchi, Enugu, Bayelsa, Rivers, and Kogi. The new appointments follow the resignation of the previous NIA and DSS chiefs. President Tinubu, in a release by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Ajuri Ngelali, expects that the new security chiefs will work assiduously to reposition the two intelligence agencies for better results and charges them to bring their experience to bear in tackling the security challenges bedeviling the country through enhanced collaboration with sister agencies and in surgical alignment with the Office of the National Security Advisor. The President thanks the outgoing directors uh, of the two pivotal intelligence agencies for their services to the nation while wishing them success in their future endeavors. And with a target to achieving 6,000 megawatts of electricity supply this year, the federal government says all challenges are being addressed for its power plants across the country to generate at full installed capacity. New Managing Director of Niger Delta Power Holding Company, Jennifer Adigije, says with the renewed vigor of the present administration to ensure energy efficiency, national integrated power plants are capable to deliver 6,000 
mega loss of electricity. Already, the federal government has commenced payment of debts owned gas companies to ensure availability of gas to power. The new managing director who assumes office is optimistic that the current improvement in power supply will be sustained. Funded project in the off-grid off public sector funded project in the entire world. And the target of that project is to electrify 17.5 million Nigerians. And those are the highlights of the news time. The program Good Morning Nigeria will continue with Victor and Eric after the commercial break. Please don't go away. <laughs>